<laughs> Hello, Jeff. It's Tuesday, and I am on a train. Vicky's over here. Hello. Anyway, we've been in Jinan for Jinan. 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 For a couple of days, uh, almost for more than we meant to, and now we're on our way back to Qingdao. Mm -hmm. Vicky's also annoyed with me because I apparently white balanced the train incorrectly, which is why it looks much brighter than it actually is. It looks too cyan. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. Nice, right? Which to a certain extent I find kind of awesome because it's a digital recording. Technically you can mess with whatever aspects of reality that you want to. How was I going to talk about? I don't know. I'm not actually sure how good the audio is coming out here, especially since my throat's a little... But we've been traveling, which of course has meant we've seen some, you know, nice sights. There was a really nice boat ride we went on today. We went to the zoo yesterday. We saw some animals. Like bears. And kitties, but lar like larger than kitties. What else? Hmm. But we also spent a good deal of time trapped in the whichever level of hell means you wait in line forever to get to the front of one line, find out you're in the wrong line, and go back and start again. But until reality stops. So that was fun. Also, I've been to Jinan once before, and the last time that I was here, the same thing happened that happened this time, which doesn't explain anything, so I'll explain it now. Missed the intended departure train, and then had to get tickets for a later train. And that was, yeah, like arriving at the train, like getting in a taxi after really, really good meal, and then arriving at the train station at the exact time that the train leaves. So, front door of station, somewhere in station, train depart and it's like all this notebook ended uh today which is nice like you can see i started writing in that notebook back in february of 2012 which meant that i had no idea at that point what i would be doing the next year and now i'm in china and i do know what i'm going to be doing next year which is nice we're pulling out of the station Zoom. This is actually a high-speed train. Uh, the one that we took to get here was not that, and so it took about five, uh, five hours, five and a half, something like that. But uh, we were in a sleeper car, so we had little beds we could stretch out in. Although they weren't exactly like they were vertically stacked. There, there were three bunked on each side of the thing, so it was a little. Uh, I had to duck my head quite a bit. Anyway, we've moved away from that other train, so now you can't really see much outside anymore. Uh, aside from the reflection of this person's shoulder. Up there, there's a little scrolling thing that will tell us how fast we're going once we speed up. I think these trains go very fast, and that'll be cool. This coat is annoying when it's in my backpack. Interesting how you don't realize how much a coat weighs until you decide to pack it into your backpack. But it was, it's too hot to wear it. And now it's Wednesday. Got some sleep, recuperated from various travel shenanigans. Still haven't shaved, but eh, I don't care today. Now I'm on my way across campus to buy some chips and probably other things. It's kind of interesting the weather difference between uh, here in Qingdao and back in Jinan. It was, uh, let's just say the air was pretty thick. Although that may have seemed worse than it was because of also how much more traffic there was on buses and taxis and things. Don't misread, it was a great trip. We saw a lot of cool things. Uh, like I said before, bears, very large kitties, very nice springs and parks and things. Hmm, buzzsaw. It's nice to be back at what for the present moment I will refer to as home. New notebook started uh, today, technically the uh, first of May. And it is really interesting to go back and look because one that just ended started in February uh, actually, it was on Valentine's Day, February 14th of 2012, at which point I had no idea what my future was going to look like. I mean, granted, I still don't, but I, I have a pretty good idea now. But just, it's, you know, suddenly I am in a place I would have had no idea when that book started that I would be here. So I'm curious as to how different things will be when I get to the end of this one. Interlude for delicious chips. I also got a bunch of things other than chips. They're in there. I'm not gonna elucidate everything. You've probably noticed by now that I'm just sort of putting this together as it goes. So if it's a little roughshod, eh. So yeah, notebooks, travel, things like that. The the notebooks that I have that I've collected over the various years, and there's a stack of them. Uh, you know, some of the ideas or notes in there are amusing or prove useful eventually, and others don't. 
but they always do help me maintain a certain perspective on my life because they give me all these artifacts of how I felt and the things that I was afraid of and I can use that to build a, a more sort of well-rounded perspective out of what I expected to happen versus what actually happens in life which is really handy and uh, it helps me not be quite so, you know, because all of those points in my life where things get low or I feel kind of, uh, they were still there, but I'm still here, you know, things keep going. So, I don't know where I'll be when my red book runs out, but I'm sure it'll be somewhere interesting, or at least I hope the me that's there will think so when he's then, yeah. As far as the foot sports stuff goes, uh, Gillingham sounds fine to me, but if you want to Facebook group it or whatever, that seems fine. Although, honestly, uh, I think that if we're going to have an official sport team of any kind, it should definitely be cricket. I mean, come on. So that's it for me today. Uh, it's probably a somewhat more structured video coming next week. But, uh, yeah. That's, uh, that's all for now. See you in the future. Hey, we'll see you in the